Joker getting 11 nominations at the Oscars this year may very well be my own supervillain origin story. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your everyday nerd. I'm your host, Zack Snyder. If you're new around here on Yen, we pull from every corner of nerd culture, talk about anything and everything that piques my interest. We continue the Oscar Best Picture nominees this year with none other than the magnum opus of 2019 films, Joker. <laughs> I was I was gonna watch this at some point and make a video on it, but wow, I, I did not know that this would end up being a best picture video. But here we are. We really do live in a society. If you don't know anything about it, 2019's Joker is a rough comic book adaptation of the popular Batman villain Joker. Directed by Todd Phillips and starring Joaquin Phoenix, it's apparently the best superhero movie ever made that's not even a superhero movie. Joker also got nominated for... This is ridiculous. Best Actor for Joaquin, Best Original Score, Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Cinematography, Best Sound Mixing, Best Costume Design, Best Editing, Best Makeup and Hairstyling, and Best Sound Editing. For some reason, this film garnered a lot of controversy last year, making more people want to actually go and see it, and eventually making it the highest grossing R-rated movie, taking over the Deadpool movies, which makes me really, really sad. Because as it turns out, at the end of the day, this is just a fine movie with a poorly written script and an extremely loose message that gets lost in its mediocrity. As you can tell, I don't like Joker. But don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Apparently, Joker is the exact type of movie that we need in America right now. We don't need any kind of foreign film like Parasite in the United States of America. What is more important to our culture than the Joker? All jokes aside, I tried to go into Joker with an open mind and I just came out of it not really enjoying myself. The story focuses on Arthur Fleck who lives with his mother in Gotham City. He's an aspiring stand-up comedian who works in his free time as a party clown and he also has a mental disorder that causes him to laugh uncontrollably at times. Since the Joker character has rarely had a true backstory in the comic books and in movies, and he's often just an antithesis of Batman, I do think this is an interesting take on the character. Everything they do to set him up here as a character is very believable, and I definitely see how this character would turn into a supervillain. Also, Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor. He does a pretty good job here. This is definitely not my favorite performance of his. That would go to 2013's Her. I just watched that a few months ago, so this is not the last time that I'll be talking about it because I really love that movie. But uh, for the most part, I do like his performance in Joker, and I think that is probably the strongest part here. That and the concept in itself to make a movie surrounding the villain and seeing his backstory. Again, because we haven't seen it before. Where this film stops being interesting to me personally though is in its script. All throughout the film we see Arthur become the victim of unnecessary and nonsensical abuse. Almost every character he meets is just a complete and total asshole to him. And sure, I'm not gonna act like assholes don't exist in real life, they absolutely do. I was bullied as a kid for a very long time. I still deal with assholes on a regular basis, but like not everybody is gonna be an asshole to you. As long as you go through life as a decent human being, the chances of dealing with assholes 100% of the time is next to impossible. So we have this film that is trying to have this super deep message of society not treating the poor or the mentally ill appropriately, which is a true statement in and of itself, but we're supposed to come out of the film with a more nuanced understanding of this topic by thinking, man, we have so many assholes. What if we accidentally created the Joker? And in the meantime, what I got was a comedic experience. Because let me tell you, if you watch 2019's Joker seriously, you're most likely just going to be kind of bored. But if you ignore Todd Phillips' direction, if you ignore his angle, and you say, hey, I'm going to watch this dark comedy about a man going completely insane, it's actually kind of a fun watch. <laughs> now, now maybe, maybe this sounds a little bit ableist, right? Because I'm, I'm laughing at Arthur Fleck, a mentally ill individual, but like, Scenes like this are hilarious, and you can't tell me otherwise. What kind of clown carries a gun? You're fired.
So no, I don't think that as far as Todd Phillips intent was, I don't think this is a film about mental health and treating people better because you do not go day after day meeting heartless bastards, no matter who you are, unless you yourself are an asshole first. So if we look at it from Joker's perspective, which is what this film is about, then we can see that Joker just sees all these people as assholes because he has mental problems. And that means there's no actual message in this film. He's the asshole. He sees everybody else like one. So he gets treated appropriately. If you are an asshole, other people will be an asshole to you. That is just life. So there's no actual message in this film. And it just so happens to be a dumb comic book movie that shows the transformation of a classic Batman villain. And that's all the analyzing I'm doing today. I'm done. I'm done with, with analyzing this film. Here, here's the final reason I really don't just don't like this film. On the surface, there are some good filmmaking aspects here. I like the cinematography. It's pretty solid. Like I said earlier, Joaquin's acting is pretty good. And as a film itself, I would say it's competent minus the script. But like, it's super pretentious. Todd Phillips is trying to take this comic book movie and make it into a Scorsese film. And it just feels so forced. The soundtrack is just this slow, string-filled, almost ballet-like score that while good on its own, it just looks goofy to me whenever I see the Joker dancing to it. And it wears so many influences on its sleeves that again, I just, I just couldn't take any of this seriously. Had Phillips gone the dark comedy route, which considering he is a comedy director first, I'm surprised he didn't. It's just... Like, I, I don't know. It just did not work for me. And I know that there's a lot of controversy surrounding whether this is a good movie or a bad movie. But for me, it didn't work. It's far from being the worst DC movie. Trust me, I just rewatched like Man of Steel and Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. And like all of those are absolutely worse. But like it, it just ends up being a mediocre movie in its attempt to be something way more than it really is. And at the end of the day, I think it's just fine. But I made this video because it's a Best Picture nominee, so does it deserve its nominations? Well, let's go through them. Best Actor, sure, why not? Not the best of the year, but this is fun. Best Original Score, not a chance. It was such a weird part of this movie for me. Best Director, <laughs> LOL, no. Best Adapted Screenplay, can, can you really call this an adaptation? Best Cinematography, it, it was solid enough. Best Sound Mixing and Editing, I honestly can't remember anything special about the sound in this movie. Best makeup and hair, why? Cause he's the Joker and he wears some makeup? Is that it? Best costume design, there's one costume in this movie. Best editing, it was fine. There wasn't anything special there. And finally, does it deserve to be a best picture nominee? No. But that's all the time we have left for today. If you liked the video, go hit that like button. If for a reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments. Do you like Joker? If so, let me know why. I'm very curious in having conversations. Don't hit the dislike button just because you don't like my opinions on it. These are my opinions. If you like the movie, that's completely fine. That's why we're allowed to like media like this. Film is such a subjective media. It's dope like that. Uh, Black Panther is so much better of a film and I clowned on it last year for being a Best Picture nominee. But you know what? I'm more okay of it being a Best Picture nominee than I am the Joker at this point because it's better than the Joker. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and we'll, we'll be talking about more of these Best Picture nominees throughout the week. Until then, goodbye.